So to make it super simple, I'm going to actually do a screen share for you so you can follow step by step on what I'm doing. So in the bottom right hand corner here, let me actually move my uh, camera over here so you can see a little better. So in the bottom right hand corner here, these are all the apps that start up as soon as I turn on my machine. And you know, if I had a not a lot of memory, this would take up a significant amount of performance uh, as soon as I turn on and it could really slow down and impact my workflow. So uh, I'm going to show you a cool little thing that's built into Windows on how to resolve this. So first off, we want to go ahead and hit the Windows tab here down in the bottom left hand corner. And then we're going to go to settings. In settings here, what we want to tap is the apps button right here. So there's a lot of features going on here, but we're solely in this video going to be working in this little startup tab right here. So we're gonna tap startup. And what you'll see is this is sorted by name automatically, but you can sort this by the status of it or the startup impact. And what that means is this shows the amount of impact this has as soon as it turns on. So you can see I've got some apps that show that it's going to take a medium impact, whereas some are high and some are low. So any of them that are high are really going to be tasking your computer as soon as it turns on. Personally, I don't use OneDrive, so I'm actually gonna be turning this one off for myself. And you can go through and change this, turn them on, toggle them off, whatever you think would benefit your workflow the best. It's important to check this um, from time to time because this can change as you add new apps. Uh, sometimes you'll allow things and not realize it. This, this would be a great way to check for performance issues uh, from the get-go. You may be able to turn off some of these and it really impact your startup speed. So guys, I know this video was super quick, but I definitely wanted to get it out there. A lot of people don't know that some of these Windows features exist, so I want to be covering a lot more in the future. So if you find this video informative, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like the video. Liking the video actually gets this video pushed out to other people that may find this content interesting and helpful. So thanks so much for checking out today's video. My name is Shayway, and we'll see you next time on Shayway Tech.